Okay, so can you survive a full two days out on the road with just the iPad mini as your main computing device? Today I'm heading to Belgium to do a collaboration with my YouTuber mate Patrick Rambles and I thought what a fantastic opportunity to really test out the iPad mini. No MacBook, no iPad Pro, this will be my main computing device. Now obviously I do need a few things to help me out with this which is why I've got all these accessories in front of me. While I'm there I'll be filming the rest of this video which I'm going to do vlog style on this, I'll be writing stuff for my blog, I'll be doing normal kind of admin stuff. When I get to Patrick's studio, I'll be recording a podcast with the iPad mini. And that's why I'm bringing things like the Newfie keyboard, which is in here. This is fantastic. There's basically a full-sized mechanical keyboard in here, which also doubles as a little stand for the iPad. I've then got the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, which is just the best mouse ever made. I have a Ugreen hub, which is gonna provide all the power input for the iPad mini, as well as connecting it to other things, like the SSL2 audio interface. So I'll be using this at Patrick's studio, along with a couple of his mics, to record us both talking for a podcast. I also have all my bits and bobs, all the cables and boring things in this Harbour London carry case thing here. I have my Bose QC45 headphones, which are just my favorite traveling noise canceling cans. I do have a vlogging camera just in case, but I'm, I'm gonna try and not use that as much as possible. A power bank and a very long USB-C cable and an anchor adapter. Keeping this juiced up is gonna be my main challenge. I'll put links to all of this stuff in the description. I do have my AirPods Pro 2 as well, which are very important for taking calls and that kind of stuff. But oh, I can't put it off any longer. I've gotta pack this stuff up, head to the train station, and let's see how we get on. Please just wish me luck. So it's important to note that pretty much every piece of footage you see in this video is going to be shot on the iPad mini. I'm going to use this, like I said earlier, as a vlogging cam as well. So this is the front facing camera. It is great to have this massive kind of viewfinder. I've done nothing to this mic sound. This is how it comes out. Anyway, where's my train? While I was waiting for my train to Brussels, I took the opportunity to do some planning for the Mark Ellis Academy. And over the last few weeks, I've been using Scrintle for this task, which is also the sponsor of this video. Scrintle is a visual first knowledge management tool where you can brainstorm and develop ideas. And it turns out that it works fantastically on the iPad mini. The team behind Scrintle wants to help you turn every idea into the next big thing. And the idea is that you create chaos during a brainstorm on this massive canvas. And then you create order by linking all of that stuff together. And Scrintle boards can be used for mapping complex projects, building processes, planning, studying, researching, you name it. I've only scratched the surface of this app, but just the ability to get all of my academy ideas out of my head and onto this page is fantastic. I can plan the course material, plan and link each stage of the academy, make notes about the media that I might want to use, and then join it all up into this massive searchable personal knowledge bank. To find out more about Scrintle, just click the link in the description and use my code for a 10% discount. So one thing I have enjoyed immensely is just having one iPad, because normally, as a tech reviewer, I have about three, literally three or four in use at the same time. And this trip is making me, it's forcing me just to use one iPad like a normal person. Now, I think the iPad mini, as I've always said actually, is one of the best tools for the job, and the battery hasn't died yet either. So um, yeah, so far so good. The combination of the iPad mini and this Air 60 keyboard from Newfie is absolutely fantastic. I've used it on the train, I've used it here in St Pancras Station. So far this has been an awesome little setup and I haven't missed my MacBook at all, which is what I was most worried about to be honest.
The other thing that always amazes me about the iPad mini is just how versatile it is. So along with all the <coughs> vlogging and the blogging and the stuff that I'm doing over these next two days, I'm using it as a note-taking device, as I always do. So the combination of the Apple Pencil 2 and the paper-like screen protector, which is on this screen, although you wouldn't know it because the latest version is barely there, basically. It doesn't dull the colors, it doesn't change the screen at all. It just turns it into this paper-like material. So along with not having to bring my MacBook or my iPad Pro or anything else, I don't need to bring a notepad. My backpack is so light, guys, it's amazing. Oh, and thank you to Paperlike for being a fantastic supporter of this channel. Speaking of versatility, the next thing this iPad mini needs to do is record a podcast between Patrick Rambles and myself, which is where I'm heading to now. And that involves two mics, an audio interface, and probably about an hour's worth of recording. It's this that I'm most nervous about. Patrick, how are you doing? Not too bad. Ready to podcast? Yeah. Awesome. Patrick, what do you think about my iPad Mini experiment? I think it's cool. I did a similar experiment in New York, and uh, it was it was very interesting. I'm most nervous about this one though because we're going to record a podcast with two mics going into this. I've tested it; it works, but I'm just I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> but I'm more impressed with Patrick's space, so I'm going to cut to some B-roll of this amazing studio now. So while Patrick's setting up the cameras, this is the setup we've got for the iPad mini audio recording. Solid state logic SSL2. That's going into a Ugreen USB hub. iPad mini is connected to that USB hub. And on the iPad mini, we have GarageBand. Oh, and the mics we're using are Shure SM7Bs. What can go wrong? Now, obviously we're not using backup mics just in case none of this works. We wouldn't do that. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Right, we've just finished the podcast recording, which was awesome, by the way. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, the only slight problem is that I think the iPad mini stopped. We were using mics. <laughs> Thank God, God we are using that. So you can't rely on, on an iPad mini for recording a podcast from the looks of it. <laughs> so a few final thoughts on this iPad mini only experiment. And the first one is that carrying just one device is an absolute revelation. And the one thing I was worried about, which was the battery life mainly, hasn't been a problem at all. Ironically, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has been more problematic with battery, but that's for another story. The Mufi Air 60 has been brilliant, honestly. If you need a portable mechanical keyboard, and trust me, you do, just get one of them. That folio case thing is just very useful. And weirdly, I haven't used the MX Master 3 at all. Although the video capabilities have been questionable at times, they've not been too bad. I think the stabilization on the selfie cam is actually okay. The photos it takes are fantastic. I've completely forgotten which iPhone camera system this is based on. I'll put it below, but it does take some decent photos too. iPad OS does feel a bit clunky sometimes still, particularly if you need to work across multiple apps and do lots of stuff with files. I just find that whenever I have to do that stuff, I want my Mac. And that does kind of confirm my suspicions that the iPad is still at its best when you're using one app full screen at a time. That's absolutely fine, the more I think about it. And it probably explains why Apple has had such a hard time getting stage manager and multitasking in general to work or make sense on the iPad. You just don't need it. The biggest disappointment though was the audio recording failure at Patrick's. And I'm afraid when it comes to stuff like that, where you're relying on a device like this, 
for production and it fails on you, it's a one strike affair. We had a backup recording, thankfully, but if we hadn't had that, I'd have lost that entire podcast. You only get one chance, I'm afraid, with this. So overall, this has been a pretty awesome experience. I, I love the iPad mini even more. I didn't think that was possible. And to be honest, it's been that good that if I go away again, I don't need to edit video or record audio. I'll probably take it with me again as the only device. Oh, and if you've still got some time, keep watching for a link to a video about these, which are the Bose QC45s. They are just the best travel headphones ever and possibly the best headphones you can buy at the moment. Keep watching for a link to that video. Cheers.